It's a blessing being with you here on this Monday of the Word of Encouragement. Today I'd like to go to the first chapter of the second epistle to Timothy. I've often mentioned as I introduce anything from this epistle that these words were written under inspiration by Paul not long before he'd be martyred by Nero. And you can sense the human urgency that the Spirit of God allows him to give to Timothy to be all that God wanted Timothy to be. And he's endeavoring to encourage him. He talks about his background. And then he says in verse 6, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Here in this first chapter, he's wanting Timothy to have confidence in his leadership because of the clear leading of the Spirit of God in his life. And he says, I want you to remember that we clearly acknowledged by the laying on of our hands that you had the leadership gift to pastor and that what you are doing is not a human calling, but it is a divine calling. And this was going to be a key for Timothy to stay strong in the midst of the pressures that he was facing. Obviously, Paul's facing death. Other things were happening. And Timothy was clear, clearly struggling, according to First and Second Timothy, and yet he was still leading well. And so the apostle here, in the midst of all these pressures, said, Now remember the gift that you have. Stir it up. Let God bring it to the forefront so that your life can be clearly a divinely lived out life and ministry. And it's very interesting that the very next verse is verse 7 that we often quote when we talk about staying encouraged and strong in the midst of uh, dire circumstances. It says, For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. Be thou therefore not ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. So I think it's very significant that he says, Stir up the gift, the supernatural gifting that is in you, and that will keep you from having fear. It'll help you have a sound mind. It will help you uh, to have a selfless love and have the power of God, and you'll be able to stand strong. Now, you may be listening and say, well, I don't have a leadership gift. Friends, the Bible makes it clear every one of us have a spiritual gift. Ephesians 4 makes it very clear. Unto every one of you is given the gift of God's grace. That special, unique word, we're, uh, working. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 says that God gives these gifts severally to whom he will. And so we've got to understand that what will keep us strong and not be fearful when the pressure is on is to know God's working, to see his power, to see his working, to realize it's not about us, it's about him. And when we see his gifting working in our life, it's so encouraging and, and assuring. And so I encourage you to let God just use you and you'll begin to see the pattern of how he uses you as you depend upon him. And that will give you confidence to stand strong for him.